In this video I'll explain how to find the earliest and latest date in a vector of dates using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called myDates. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 4 of the code. So after running this line of code you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector of 6 date objects. So one important point when we want to find the minimum and maximum date in a vector is the class of our date vector. And we can check the class of our dates by running the class function as you can see in line 6 of the code. So if you execute this line of code, you can see at the bottom that the character class is returned. So this means at this point our vector of dates has the character class. However, it's important that our vector of dates is properly formatted to the date class. And we can do that as you can see in line 8 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the sDate function to our vector of dates. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new vector object, which is called myDatesUpdated. So if you run line 8 of the code, you can see that another vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called myDatesUpdated. And we can print these dates to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 9. So after running this line of code, you can see our updated vector of dates. And as you can see, this vector looks exactly the same as our input vector that we have created in the beginning. However, if we apply the class function to this updated vector, you can see at the bottom that our class of the new vector object is the date class. And this is very important for the next step that you can see in lines 13 and 15. So in line 13 of the code, I'm applying the min function to our updated vector of dates. So if you apply this line of code, you can see at the bottom that only one date is returned. And this is actually the earliest date in our vector of dates. Similar to that, we can also apply the max function to our vector of dates, as you can see in line 15. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another date is returned. And this is the latest date in our vector of dates. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.